In this video, I'm going to show you how to repair an LED light at the solder point where your wire is connected, but all of a sudden your solder point breaks off and it cannot be soldered again. Coming up next. Welcome to my channel. I don't know if you ever had a situation where you purchase some LED lights, probably on Amazon. They're not the greatest quality, but you know, they'll do for the job that you're needing for. But all of a sudden your solder point right at the, uh, at the tip of the wire, that solder comes apart. It breaks off and you cannot solder back again. Have you ever had that happen? Well, perhaps you're laying it out. Before you lay it out, you have extra wire that you can cut it right here. There is a cutoff point compared to the end. Perhaps you can cut it there at that section and start all over again. But just perhaps, maybe uh, you already cut it to, to the size that you need it and you cannot trim it anymore. Then what are you going to do? Well, I have a solution for you that you might appreciate. That you will need a solder, a soldering iron. You will need some solder. You will also need an extra piece of wire in order for you to do this repair. You will also need a, uh, a heat shrink tube. This heat, this, this heat shrink tube, it's just to protect the wire once you solder it at that point. So that's what you're gonna need. And so I'm gonna show you how to go about it. Let me put my glasses on. So what you want to do is you want to measure from this point to your cutoff because what we're going to do is just we're going to extend this wire to this next point here because that copper that's there it's going to be easy to solder to then if when that copper disappear or breaks so what we'll do is we'll measure here see the distance and we'll measure there and we're just going to go ahead and cut it. And I'm going to pick the same color wire in green. You don't have to use the same color wire, but uh, on this scenario, I'm going to. And so because there's a solder point there, it's just a matter of connecting those two solders there. You want to go ahead and solder these, give it a little bit of solder at the tip. Now it'll make it so much easier to solder to that. Then what we want to do also is solder our point right here. So there's a solder point right there. So now what we want to do is I'm going to solder. I am right-handed. I'm going to solder these two together. Let's see if I can do it steadily. That solder is good. So what you want is to take this heat shrink slider down because you don't want that contact and either you have a lighter or if you have a match uh, you can bring some heat and you're gonna see this thing shrinking down. So I'm using my soldering iron simply because I don't have a match with me. A lighter or a heat gun would be ideal just to kind of heat it up and I'm going to turn it right now so this way it's going to be protecting that wire from making contact to any other connection so now that we have that there I have solder here I have solder at this point and I have solder at this point and I'm just going to play it you know place it right there make sure that your wire is long enough and then I'm going to heat this up. Oops. I'm going to heat this up. Okay. So now let's go ahead and find out if it's working. I'm going to connect, go ahead and connect. I'm going to connect the power supply. And let's see if this baby is working. There's my green, which that's the one that was in question. There's my blue and my red.
So as we can see, I want to turn it off. So as you can see, this is an alternative way to repair when this solder point right here breaks off and there's no more copper, it comes off on the wire, then you cannot put a solder there any longer. Why cut this strip out and throw it away when you can go to the next? Because in LED, remember, power goes both ways. So now this is another option. And a lot of these LEDs will be in hidden areas. So this wire being exposed, it's not a big thing. You can either glue it down or silicone it down. So like that, uh, uh, it kind of stay in a low profile so it won't interfere with your lights. But that's another option that you can do in order to repair your LEDs if it's broken. Guys, I hope you like this content. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like what you see. And I hope that this can help you on a future project or job that you're doing for your home or, or whatever area that you can find yourself fixing it without wasting away a section. Alright guys, have a good one.